Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four Nine Seven Five, and today I'm going to show you how you can turn all of these into all of these. <laughs> Now, uh, to do this glitch, there is a few things that you will need, and also one setup that you will need to do. You only need to do this once, so I'll show you that right now. So, the first thing you'll need to do is the setup, and what we're going to be doing here is the scuba suit glitch. So, you will need to purchase a scuba suit from one of the clothing stores. Um, so you want to purchase a scuba suit and save it as an outfit. I've just called mine scuba. And then you want to have any other outfit um, and save that as an outfit. So any other clothing and save it as an outfit. You want to just walk into the water wearing your scuba suit and hover over the interaction menu for the other outfit and just before your character starts swimming there you want to hit um, the other outfit so um, just before it starts swimming I apply the cowboy outfit from here go ahead and register as a CEO and then go from CEO management and then down to style and just switch your characters um, outfit here now I didn't hit the glitch the first time um, this is what the uh, glitched outfit will look like. Your character will have flippers, they'll have a hood on and kind of like a glitched t-shirt. And every time uh, you switch your style in the CEO um, interaction menu, you will see that your character will drop a scuba tank. So if you switch it to another outfit and back to the glitch one, they will drop an outfit, a uh, scuba tank. And this will become apparent why you need this later on. You're also going to need to have uh, an MOC and in bay 3 which is the very rear bay you will need to have a personal vehicle storage and in the personal vehicle storage you'll want to store your free elegy and obviously to own the MOC you will also need to own a bunker. You're also going to need to own an auto shop. Uh, you don't need to own any upgrades in the auto shop. If you do have upgrades in here, that is fine. Uh, don't worry about it. All you need to do is make sure that all the bays in the auto shop are full of cars. Now, it doesn't matter whether these are free elegies like I have here. They can be cars that you've driven off the street into here. Or they can be personal vehicles that you've decided to store in here. But just make sure that all the bays inside the auto shop are full so that when you try and drive another vehicle in here you will get the um, full garage alert asking you whether you want to swap one of the vehicles you need to make sure that you get that alert and one final thing that I suggest you have um, it is not 100% necessary for the glitch but if you want to make the most out of this glitch and make it a little bit easier and a little bit faster for you I suggest that you buy a garage very close to where your auto shop is. So my auto shop is located just here. And I have this garage that we are in right now located just around the corner. And I filled it full of elegies which I'm going to be turning into issies. And one final thing that you're obviously going to need for this duplication glitch is a car to duplicate and for this I suggest you use the Arena War Issy. Um, it does sell for the most amount of money so that is obviously why you're doing this glitch to sell the cars for money. Um, if you can't afford uh, an Arena War Issy, then you can use the Benny's vehicles as well. The LG Retro Custom is the best one to use although it does sell for about half the price of the Issy. So if you dupe that car a few times, I'd suggest purchasing an Issy and then carrying on the glitch from there. Okay, so to start off, um, we're going to just drive one of the elegies that we're going to dupe out of the garage. 
and then we're going to drive over to the MOC which I have parked right near my auto shop. Alright, so here is the MOC which I have parked right near my auto shop. You just want to hit right on the D-pad to drive the car into the back of the MOC. And there we go, it is now stored in there. So now you want to just hop back in and drive the car out of the MOC. And then just move it out of the way so that it's not going to be blocking um, the back of the MOC there or the auto shop garage. And you just want to go ahead and destroy this. You can do this however you like. I'm just going to drop a grenade. And I'm going to immediately start calling Blaster because where my auto shop is located is right next to the police station over there. So every time I do this, I get cops. This is not necessary if you don't get cops. Um, it's just because my auto shop's near the police station. From here, you just want to go ahead and um, call your arena or ISI or whichever vehicle it is that you're going to be duplicating. So in my case, it is the arena or ISI. Or for you, it might be the Elegy Retro Custom. Whichever vehicle it is, you just want to call that out now. And then once that spawns in, just go and hop into the car. And then from here, what you want to do is um, actually reverse up to the door. So in my previous video, I said you want to drive up to the door. It still works if you drive up to the door. Um, but a few of you were suggesting that you actually have a better success rate if you reverse up to the door. So go ahead, reverse up to the door. And you will get this message, which tells you your auto shop is full because we filled it up with elegies. Just go ahead, wait on this screen for about five seconds, then press B and drive forward. Now, that time I got the alert again, so what you want to do is just back out of it, reverse up to the door once again, wait here about five seconds, and then just go ahead and hit B and drive forward again. And you can see that time I didn't get the alert again. So now you drive up to the MOC, and it will just... Uh, teleport you into the inside of the MOC. So you don't need to hit right on the D-pad here, you just want to drive up to the back of the MOC and it should pull you straight in. Now from here you're going to be stuck on a black loading screen, so if you're on PlayStation hit the PlayStation button and then press it again. If you're on Xbox like I am, hit the Xbox button and then hit it again and you can see there we go, we are now into the MOC with the Arena War Issy. Now go ahead here and just open up the doors of the ISI, the driver's door and the passenger door. I accidentally got in the vehicle there. So you don't want to be in the vehicle, you just want to open the doors. So just press Y and then when your character starts the animation just walk away from the door and he should open it but then uh, walk away and not get inside. Now from here, because we did the scuba suit glitch earlier, um, this is where you're going to need to drop the scuba tanks. So you want to walk away from the door slightly with your back turned to it. And then you just want to start dropping scuba tanks outside the doors. And the aim here is to try and block the doors so that you're, when your character tries to get in the vehicle, instead of actually doing the animation where your character opens the door and climbs inside, they'll actually just teleport in because the doors are blocked up with scuba tanks and they can't actually get into the car. So I've done the passenger side there, just gonna continue and do this on the driver side as well. Now make sure you drop plenty of scuba tanks. Um, it doesn't matter if you drop more than you need, just make sure that you block up the doors good and well. Okay, so I think I've got enough scuba tanks there. Um, basically what you wanna do now is walk up to the door Make sure you face the ISI because you don't want the scuba tanks to disappear. And if you're on Xbox, you want to hit A and Y at the same time. If you're on uh, PlayStation, you want to hit X and Triangle at the same time. And you should see there that your character just spawned into the ISI. 
um, or teleported into the Issy. And if you've hit it correctly, then you will spawn outside in your Issy. If your character spawns outside and you are not in the Issy, it's just because you've not dropped enough scuba tanks and your character didn't teleport. Basically, just go back into the MOC, drop more scuba tanks and try it again. If you did hit correctly though, just drive up to the door of the MOC and drive your Issy in. And we're just doing this step now to save the duplication. So now you've saved the duplication, you can drive the Issy out and do whatever you like with it. So I'm going to go ahead and store this in the garage you saw at the start of the video. Um, but alternatively, you can go and sell this Issy. Um, now, you can only sell up to one duplicated vehicle every hour. If you do more than that, then you'll hit a daily sell limit. Now, I had a few people asking me whether you can actually get banned for doing this. If you continuously hit the daily sell limit, then there is a possibility of getting banned. Um, so that's why we say just sell one every hour so you don't hit that daily sell limit. But the risk of getting banned is very, very low. So this is a very safe glitch. Um, you don't need to worry about Rockstar banning your account. If anything does happen to your account, the more likely scenario is that they will wipe the duplicated money and um, just return your character to the uh, amount of money you had before you started duplicating cars. That is more likely, but still very, very unlikely. Uh, but from here, to continue the glitch, all you got to do is drive the next car you want to duplicate out, store it in the MOC, and start the whole glitch again. Um, I hope this video has been useful for you, though. Um, if it has, then please drop a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you to everyone who commented on the last video with some tips and tricks. And uh, hopefully I've answered all your questions about getting banned, etc. It's very, very unlikely. Also, I should mention, you do not need custom plates for this glitch. Um, I had a few people asking me if that was the situation. No, you do not need custom plates. That is going to do it for this video, though. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.